Hey what's up everyone, it's Mr. Crucial here on my test world. We're going to do a video on control panels because control panels are very useful and awesome. First things first, your button or lever goes into a block and we pull power from behind that block. You can invert the signal using a torch and get the opposite signal or two signals, multiple signals. <laughs> You can use repeaters not only to uh, give you more distance on the line, but they act as walls as well. As seen here, the line, the power doesn't go backwards through a repeater. Repeaters can also be used for wires to not interfere with each other, which is very useful. So now that you know the basics, you can get to wiring control panels. This is a nine lever or button control panel. It's very simple to wire, you just get in the back here. It does have a disadvantage that you have to indent it one block, but really that's no biggie. So what you do is you focus on the middle block and you build around it, like that. As long as you get the middle block on there first, you're pretty much golden. When testing, I usually turn on the levers as well. This will help you out a lot. Because <laughs> then you'll know where to place your repeaters in this uh, chord fashion. So, now that you have those first three laid out, you're going to create basically a honeycomb around it. Like this. Um, yeah, that one was done incorrectly. <laughs> so, there's the honeycomb. Now that you have that in place, you basically lay your dust. Oh, not here. First one's in the middle. Those are second two. The middle tier is here, and the bottom tier are these three. So that's wiring up the honeycomb. The only difference when doing torches is you have to lay in repeaters on the sides here so the wire will actually uh, bend into the torch and make sure you're facing the repeaters in the right direction and there's also a little bit of an issue with this top block while using a torch it will want to glitch out so you might have to replace that with glass but that's a nine lever button control panel these uh if you lay levers or buttons in a row like this as well as torches is very simple you just lay like a ribbon style in the back here and this can go as wide as you want really and make sure your repeaters and dust are always in a steady pattern so the wires don't cross with each other and uh, when coming from a button make sure you're laying your repeaters in the right direction as for torches the repeaters face inwards buttons and levers outwards so say you want them in a stack like this it's very simple it's kind of like the honeycomb design basically you're using the blocks to cut off the other one's power so it doesn't cross and interfere but the top one here I have it going into the side you have to indent it in ag again like the nine lever display and you go into the side of the top one. Make sure to use a repeater so the line forms a cross. And you basically stack the lines on top of each other. These ones I just have repeaters plugging into the back of the second lever here. And that must be a torch because I have the repeaters in that direction. And same thing goes for buttons or levers you have it facing this direction. Here you can see that I switched up the design and went one higher. You can do that. You have play to do that type of thing with this design. So here I basically did the same thing but stacked them side by side. And again it's just the honeycomb. Very simple to do. I always make sure to put the repeaters in the one with the torches so the wire will bend into the block. For some reason you can get away with it on buttons and levers. 
So, that's for dragging power and inputting power into. Here's a little bit, these ones are pretty cool because they're basically buttons or levers with an indicator. So, this one when the power is off, the indicator is off. Power is on, the indicator will be on. And I think it's probably the easiest. Basically you have repeaters. Here, we'll re rebuild it really quick here. So these are the blocks the levers are on. You have three repeaters coming out. And you lay blocks behind those repeaters with torches on top. Placing blocks on top of the torches. And repeaters facing into the back of the indicator torches. The block the indicators are on. So that one's very simple. Now you can grab your power from these blocks like this and do the ribbon style with repeaters so the wires don't interfere. Then you can do whatever, split them up however you please. Okay, so the next one here is the same thing, except we've inverted the signal right from the back of the control panel. This is very useful, but uh, say you want two levers to control one mechanism and not have the uh, torches interfering with each other, you might want to add a different uh, logic gate in there. You might want to add um, XNOR or XOR, whichever you prefer. But uh, it's the same principle as this one here, except we don't invert the signal. We keep it the same true value. And uh, we do that by it's a little bit of a trick. You have your line coming into a block with a repeater, and you do a staircase over top of the repeater with redstone line over that. So as you can see here, the power will go through the repeater into this block and power the line on top of it. So that's the principle this one is running off of. Basically, it comes from the block the lever's in, goes into a repeater, into a block with dust on it, and plugs into the back where the indicator torch is. Now with the middle one, you have to extend it out two blocks repeaters here are so nothing really interferes I don't think that one's necessary <laughs> um, yeah you bas same basic principle you always use repeaters so wires don't interfere and then the repeater trick into a block with the redstone over top have double repeaters here because if I didn't again it would interfere so once yet once you know how to really play the repeaters out, you're golden. So the final two we have here are the same principle as these two, except without minus the gap in the middle, so you have it nice and compact. But like the nine panel, you have to indent it into the wall to achieve this. And I have the two demos here, one's pretty much they're both the same but opposite effect and uh, same principle as these two the first one we just we do the honeycomb coming out of the back of the panel this is the lever on the far right it just basically wraps right up and plugs into the side where the torch is so this is using uh, keeping the same value this one we're not inverting with any torch this is the first lever, just wraps up around into the block with the indicator torch. And in the middle, we have it coming from underneath the lever into a repeater that does the staircase trick. That's how we achieve that. This one's the same thing, except using torches to invert the signal. first one was real easy we just inverted it immediately with a torch basically dust 
block the torch on top of it and you pull from here so that's a quick inverter going up a block so that's how the middle is achieved and then the two sides basically they come around you have to give it room here for the wire to bend and you use a torch to invert the signal again torch is very useful so that's the backs of the control panels now where you'd want to pull your power from you can it's really up to you as for this middle one it might be a little bit tricky but you just lay two repeaters in here like this and there you go you can wire them up to whatever you want same goes for this one you might want to grab from this block this block and the middle one so you don't have interference if you have to get really close you can always use repeaters because they keep the line straight like that and try and even out the repeaters the further you go <laughs> it'll just save you on lag this one's very simple and already done just come right out of the backs of the blocks this one speaks for itself you can just run those lines straight and split them up and same goes for the rest of them they pretty much speak for themselves how you would use them so that's it guys I hope this uh, special was very useful for you guys I know a lot of people are kinda messy with their control panels so let's try and clean it up <laughs> Rate, comment, and subscribe. Peace.